It's no secret that the area around Hoban has its share of hidden underground gems. The old tram subway is easy enough to find, and can you really call yourself a tube nerd if you don't know about the abandoned branch to Aldwych? But there's one that's a little harder to spot. Walk up High Hoban. Keep a lookout at number 32. If you're extremely keenly eyed like a latter-day Sherlock Holmes, you will notice that uh, it's a strangely anonymous looking door. Past Chancery Lane Underground Station, take a turn down Furnival Street, and on your left you'll see an unspeakably bland industrial looking building. These are the entrances to the Kingsway Telephone Exchange, a boring name for a really rather interesting site. Hidden around the tube station at Chancery Lane is a veritable citadel. It was originally built in the early days of the Second World War as a deep-level air raid shelter, with the intent of later incorporating it into a new tube line. More information on that project in episode one of this series, which I'll link in the description below. The shelter was never open to the public, and was instead used as a communications centre. It continued to perform this function after the war, being handed over to the General Post Office in 1949. The GPO was in charge of telephones at this time, because when you think about it, isn't a telephone call just like a really, really fast letter? Sorry to blow your mind there. In the early 1950s, the complex was expanded and became the termination point of TAT-1, the first transatlantic telephone cable. And it was at this time that it took on a more sinister purpose. This was the Cold War. Kingsway Telephone Exchange was a vital link in the hotline between Washington and Moscow. It therefore goes without saying that in the event of things heating up it would be vital to maintain communications. To that end, the exchange was reinforced to withstand nuclear attack. As well as its communication equipment, it received staff accommodation, a restaurant, games room, and even a licensed bar located 200 feet below street level, and therefore the lowest dive in London. There was an artesian well and a stock of rations. In the event of nuclear war, the population of the shelter could, it was hoped, be housed safely for many months until things return to normal, whatever normal is in the aftermath of a nuclear war. Kingsway was one of three telephone exchanges intended for this purpose, the other two being Anchor in Birmingham and Guardian in Manchester. The complex was kept hush-hush until 1966. Advances in communications technology would render the exchange obsolete by the end of the 1970s, and operations were moved to Houndsditch. The tunnels lay largely abandoned for many years. In 2001, the third entrance on Tooks Square was demolished and currently sits under an office block. In 2008, the complex was put up for sale, though it's unclear to me whether anyone actually bought them. Certainly there seems to be something going on down there, judging by this noise complaint. Still, it's some comfort to know that in the event World War III does break out, all we have to do is head to Chancery Lane. I'll see you at the bar. Hi all, hope you enjoyed this bomb-proof episode of Tales from the Tube. If you did, then please feel free to like, to subscribe, to share, to comment, or just generally celebrate it however you see fit. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheerio!